Okay, well, the problem I'm going to try and fix here today is is that um, these screens have videos running on them, and it's basically a, a movie file uh, that's running on the screens, and it works best for when you're in-game, when you're playing, but if you're trying to capture cinematics, it's not going to work. Uh, that's because when you're rendering out frames here um, in Unreal, they're less than real time, so, you know, you may be doing a... 25 frame per second video, but it's actually taking longer than a 25th of a second to render that frame. So the video is running in real time and the capture is running in less than real time. So what happens is the screen ends up being very quickly and I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm going to show you what happens and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, I'm just going to speed up this part so you know how to set up a video and, and set up cameras and everything and get a sequence here. So, Or you can slow it down and watch it. Animation of the screen. Okay, now I'm going to show you what the problem is with this. Uh, the way that it's set up with just the videos connected to the texture, which is connected to the blueprint. Um, if we do a render now, uh, we'll capture render here. Uh, save everything. Okay, and here is our render. You can see already that this, the screen is moving too fast. It's moving in real time. Okay, we don't have to let this finish. I can just stop it here. It is here. Um, and that would be here, I believe. So, yeah. You can see that it's spinning really fast. This is not what we want. Okay, so now to correct this problem. Um, okay, so let's just look at something here. If we go into the content browser and we look under movies, and, and we can see these are the these are the media screens. And if we right click on this folder and say show and explorer, we open up the the folder. You can see there's actually the the actual movie dot mov files are inside here. This is what is, is being linked to, and these are just, uh, yeah, they're movie files. What we need is we need a folder full of um, single images, so a folder full of uh, an image sequence. So each frame pulled out and stored as a separate file, JPEG, or probably JPEG is best. Um, so in order to do that, you have to uh, open up one of these video files in a a video editing program and somehow save out uh, the image files um, and save them out. I've already done that so uh, if we go to the desktop here inside here is uh, I've taken the the medical screen video and I've saved out all the images separately in a folder. This is what we need if we're going to do uh, a video and this way when it renders it'll grab each frame for each frame that it renders and it will sync up nicely. So once you have that and once you have the folder then we can go back into here and if we go to here we create a new folder called um, video image video image source and then we can go in here and we can get uh, we need to go down to media and sorry you can't see this off the screen and we need to create uh, image media source like this and then what we can do is change this to uh, medical image source and uh, then we can open this and if we go in here then we uh, we have to link this path so it's already here you find it you know where you've stored your folder click on the folder click on the first one and then the the path is in here save it then what we need to do is once that's done 
Then we need to go to uh, the blueprint, find the wall, which is here. Um, and here underneath the uh, event graph, you'll find open source. And this right now is set to the, the video, which would be this one here. And we are going to switch it to the image sequence like this. And compile and save. Now if we go back to the uh, sequence and we open up this thing and we try and do a capture now save everything Let's see what happens now now you can see every frame that's being captured is syncing up with the image file that's coming in and you get the video going at the right speed Okay, and once that's finished out, then we can, uh, well, it's not finished, but yeah, there we go. Um, then we can uh, check it out, and this time we should see the screen move at a normal speed. Of course, this doesn't work as nicely as uh, for in-game, for playing in here. Sometimes it, uh, well, it's running fine now. But sometimes it can it can slow up or or um, be glitchy. So anyway, that's it. I hope that helped. I hope that showed how to do that, and uh, I hope this answers some questions for people who are who are asking. Thanks.